Oh, finally an opportunity maybe. See if we can get the warp fire thrower to do something useful. See if we can get him lined up into those thunderers. This is getting far too close for my liking. I think the favor bar is sneaking towards me, but it could all go very wrong very quickly. We've got so little health, but they just keep freaking holding. Could try to reduce their armor, but we need something a bit more widespread. We shall bless with filth. Maybe the poison can help us get rid of these goddamn dwarves. Pretty much none of them have health in their bars, but they're all still here. Even these ones are getting poison winded. I've still got my sensor bearers over here though. So potentially a lot of damage power from them. Just got to try and keep them safe with missiles. I think we've got rid of most of the missile units now, so... Once we break through this little pocket of resistance, our sensor bearers should be able to finish off whatever's left, as they all shouldn't have much health. Although, ooh, when I <laughs> when I look at all these dwarves in the middle with pretty good health, I do question that, actually. Here we go, let's see if we can line these boys up. Iron breakers, melt them. Melt them a treat. Come on, your gold chevrons and everything. Melt them, what are you waiting for? Melt, do some meltage. Oh my goodness. They are, there we go. They are just one little spurt of nothing. Fucking tears. <laughs> That's so shit. I wish they'd sort them out, honestly. I really want to like them, but they're just so... They're firing. They just seem really picky about firing on anything. Hopefully they sort them out with the DLC. On the upside, it looks like we finally routed things in our little holes in the wall that were right goddamn next to each other. Still salty about that. Okay, let's start to move towards the center. Ah, oh, shit, they've been firing on my plague monks. Somebody get the bastards. These ones are okay. Somebody get up there and sort out those damn rangers quick. There we go. Somebody's on it. Some sensor bearers are on it. Okay, my help it's in pretty good condition as well. That'll be useful. Oh, shit, thunderers. Somebody get them. Don't let them start blasting away at us. That is not what we need. Oh, dear. Okay, I think we're good. Just got some missiles to deal with in the center. Oh, God, there is still a fair bit. A little bit of ammo. Well, I've got a fair bit of ammo left, actually. With some of these catapults. Do what we can with that. Start to bring the sensor bearers and everything else up. Got the warp fires still around. I'm not sure what happened to those iron breakers. I guess they ran off the other way. I thought my warp fire boys were done for. Some rat ogres. Might as well get the long beards. Actually, we've got some more back here. Let's regroup. Regroup with them. Okay, we'll get the storm vermin in first to try and hold the lines a bit. Try and get the hell pit through to disrupt the missiles. Okay. Get a few units to come around the back, perhaps. That sounds like a job for the old sensor bearers, actually. Because I've got the storm vermin going the other way, I don't want them just fighting in the back of the storm vermin, because then they won't really be fighting. So, the storm vermin can just hold this direction, and that will hopefully allow the plague monk sensor bearers to come up behind and chew through and get the flank on. Hopefully. That's my plan. Let's see what happens. They're clumping up a little bit, which is good for us. Oh, war fires, fall back, let's. So I spawned up some clan rats, going to try and get leadership penalties attacked in the rear, but it looks like they might have met me a little bit. Bring in the rat ogres, bring in everybody. Everybody come on down, there's a party, we need help. Pop all the Queek's abilities, anything that's useful. If we can route this little group, I think we should make the rest of them run away as well. Oh, my boys are being flanked. There are only the spawned ones though, so it's fine. Let's get all this stuff down. Come on, come and clog up, and you sensor bearers. There we go, we've got a nice opening to get them in. This could go well. Favor bar sneaking unto us now. They all seem to be charging themselves into my storm vermin, which makes life a little bit easier for us. We've got everything mostly in one place. Let's try and get. Uh, let's put up some plague monks here. They can help out. Here we go, here we go. Let's get these plague monk sensor bearers in the back. Going to be met by rangers. Not too worried about those. Okay, well, they're going to get caught. Let's get them into the rangers. We'll use these spawned up plague monks to flank instead. Get those leadership penalties and hopefully get rid of these goddamn dwarves. If we could land some catapult shots to reduce their leadership here as well, it would be perfect. But I'm not sure we have the angle. The Lord is there. Let's get Queek to take his head. 
Hopefully that'll finish the day. Just dropping all my magic now. Blessed with filth. Sensor Bearer should get through the ranges just fine. What else have we got around? A couple of rat ogres. Let's get them back in there. Let's get these in. They could maybe do something useful. Let's get, bring the whole catapult in. Why not? So once we've taken this, we will have our province in this southwestern land, which is what I've been looking for. This will be my little base of operations for operating over by Lord Scroll. They're still holding. And get one unit is wavering. Let's get the flank on. Gonna flank them with catapult boys. Got the poison winds firing at them from behind. That should do the trick. Come on. They've still got a fair few men in a couple of units. Queek hasn't done much damage to that lord though. <gasps> this is so grindy. How are they not routing off? Just none of them just going anywhere. All supremely tough. There we go. Got some of them routed. Routed. I've got wavering though, so still a risky game. More magic. Let's try the old plague. That'll do. Maybe this will help. Maybe it won't. Just going to bring all available troops to the battle now. Come on. I'm getting a little bit worried. I'll be honest. I feel like we're running out of juice and the dwarves just aren't. Because they're dwarves. Come on, Queek. You're supposed to be killing dwarves like there's no tomorrow. See, this is where I need Dwarf Gouger. Queek's weapon that you get from the quest battle that I couldn't do because it was bugged. It's done me over now because I really need it. I'd be stabbing that dwarf up a treat if you had that. Hopefully these poison winds can make some kind of difference. Oh, God. I feel like they're not going to rout. Put another trophy head on their lord. Hopefully that should allow Queek to take him down. Get up some clan rats. Most of my stuff is routed. Goodness sake. Oh, what have I got left? Anything? Rat ogre. Just one. He'll do. Do something, buddy. Oh, this is getting so close. I have a lord here I haven't used, actually. We need to fell the dwarf lord. Even my sensor bearers are getting their asses kicked. How? They're fighting rangers and longbeards. Surely they should have destroyed those. What is going on? Even their lord I can't freaking kill. Stab him, Queek. Is he dead? No, he's getting back up. I've got the plague priest on him as well. Come on. Somebody put him in a hole. He's gone down again. Is he dead? Probably not. Oh, he's routed. White flags. I think we got him. I think we freaking got him. Just maybe some slayers left. Oh, God. That was far too close. Far too freaking close. My army has been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> We've got nothing left. What I do have left is thoroughly depleted. Apart from catapults. <sighs> okay, well, we got it. We finally got our province. Can begin our sacking and raiding of these southwestern lands. Yes, yes. Pyrrhic victory, most certainly. A lot of kills on the artillery. A lot of kills on the helpit. Some decent kills on the sensor bearers. One of them is lacking a little bit. They were fighting dwarfs, I suppose. Not an easy thing to get through, even with armor piercing. Fair amount of melee defense. But there we go. We can finally move forward. The Slayer's doing some disgusting work. They got a lot of kills all throughout their army, but we did bring nearly 3,000 rats. So, you know. Lost a few important units. We'll have to recruit those again. Probably from Global. Going to be more expensive than I'd like, but what are you going to do? Hopefully we'll get some money for, yep, yeah, six grand for occupying this place. Loot and occupy, of course. Province secured, finally. 
So we've pushed the dwarfs back, we've taken some of their lands, and then hopefully we'll be able to push and finish them off so we can just get rid of them. And then it's just a high elves to the west a little bit. And we're nearly at the fourth ritual, so we draw ever closer. Ever closer to the end. And I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to the end of this campaign. I think I probably enjoy it more if I'd done it quicker. It's taken so long, it's become kind of a burden and a bit of a plague. No pun intended, plain as a skaven. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be glad to get it over with and think about new ways to approach playing campaigns to you. But when this campaign is over, I will think long and hard on a way to make my campaigns better. Because I think I do want to still keep doing them. But they've got to be better than what this campaign has been. I mean, for those of you who have only just started watching the campaign, you've got to probably watch all the first like 15 episodes all in a row. You haven't had to wait. But of course, people who have been watching this campaign since the first episode came out, back when the game came out, are probably fed up and bored of it. And if you're still here watching, I do thank you. I do kindly thank you for your continued support, even though this campaign could probably be better. I like to try and do things a little bit differently in the campaign, like I like to, like I did in my Wood Elves campaign. I went up and took Norska with Durthu, because why not? I like to do crazy stuff. I wanted to come and take Lothurn, which maybe that's something we should try and do. Vol's Anvil does have... A ritual resource. Maybe we should just come and take Vor's Anvil and just religiously defend it from all the High Elves that will inevitably come. Because that'll make the whole thing go a bit faster as well. If we get more warp stone stuff. And then we'll get to that last ritual that little bit quicker. Now, out of curiosity. What about trying to get peace with the dwarfs? Maybe just go and finish off the High Elves, but Probably just better off to take out the dwarves anyway, because they'll probably have a grudge, and they will come back on us. So we'll replenish, regroup our troops, and get back in to these dwarves. So we are replenished, we are re-recruited, if that's a word. And we've used the underway to get to the other side of the mountain. I'll take the treasure please. Now there are two dwarf armies, one in there and there is one back here as well, it's a full stack. It was just at the other place as well. Probably going to return, but I'm going to try and get them on this turn, I should be able to. So I've got both armies ready to attack this one, but I can't move one. And this one, hopefully, yes, we can reach with this one. This is Queek's army. This looks okay. I'm pretty sure this should be winnable, we've got lots of powerful units. We've got dwarf warriors. This is not a siege, so it is going to be a land battle, which is fine. Insane. Definitely don't want a siege. Got some long beards in there, though. And just a lot of ranged. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with this. I like to try and size these battles up. I don't think it'll be majorly easy, but... Let's try and get some of these on the go. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this one out. I'm going to raise it. I'm not going to occupy it, I'm just going to raise this place up because the other army up north is inevitably going to come down and try to attack us if we try to take it, so no point taking it, we'll just raise it up, get it gone, and then we'll have to find a way to get rid of the bigger army as well. But this one is going to be in reinforcements as well, so that's good, we can kind of split them up into two. We will likely have to fall back though and replenish after this battle because I don't think these dwarves are going quietly. So we're going to lose a fair amount of troops, I imagine. We'll try and position back somewhere and make good use of our Plague Claw. Try to get somewhere with some good range for that. Okay. Let's get the old Sensor Bearers. They shall be the front. Spread them out a little bit, though. Get some protection on the edges, of course. Especially for the Plague Claw. Uh, don't need to worry about large, of course, with the dwarfs too much, so you can put them anywhere, get some poison winds going. Oh, what am I doing? Get these out in front to protect the plague monks a little bit. The old sense of errors. Ratoga is probably best to try and get the flank. Cool. We've got old Doom Wheel out wide. Let's do it. Okay, what have we got to deal with? Slayers can be a problem, just because they can keep on going and keep putting out damage, which is especially not good for my sensor bearers. They are very powerful and don't have the armor. They do have an artillery of their own, it's a bolt thrower though, so we've got the range. 
we'll have to push on them, I guess, because they ain't coming for us. And we did attack them, so we do need to attack. Looks like they're falling back currently. Interestingly. Not sure where they're headed. They've got to push on me because they've got the range disadvantage. We'll try and get some fire on the Slayers. Maybe we'll get that as the Plague Claw target. Now, one thing we all have to wonder is when will Warhammer 3 come along? Will this campaign be finished before it? Probably not. But as far as I'm aware, and I have uh, a bit more insider knowledge than most, perhaps. Obviously, I can't really say anything, but from what I've heard, it does seem like there's going to be a lot more Warhammer 2 stuff to come before Warhammer 3 comes along. So, I think it could be a wait for Warhammer 3, but I think that's fine. We don't need to rush into Warhammer 3, because obviously this is a trilogy, so we know that Warhammer 3 is going to be the last game for this series. We're going probably not going to have what well, we probably will have DLC factions, and that'll be it. And then the game will just be what it is, and hopefully... Hopefully it'll reach a kind of new stage and that'll be like a new beginning. Once we've got all the factions, we've got all the units, there's no more DLC to come. It'll be almost like a new endgame because nothing else will come along and ruin the balance of what we already have. And that's where you can kind of get a little more specific and interesting with making builds and things like that and learning how to deal with factions. But I mean, how many factions are we going to have by the end of this trilogy? Are we going to have another, let's say we've got another four in the base game of Warhammer 3. And then maybe three DLCs for that game, so that's another seven. Let alone, there's probably another one or two maybe for Warhammer 2. So we're going to have like 20 or 30 factions by the end of the series. So there's going to be a lot of kind of interaction between all these factions and strengths and weaknesses and how they're all going to play with each other. So definitely going to be interesting to see how this game evolves. And of course, where will Total War Fantasy go next after Warhammer is done? That is the interesting question. I've been spawning clan rats up to try and get rid of this goddamn bolt thrower. One of them didn't really do the job. This second one can hopefully finish it. Go on, lads. Slap those dwarfs. See, even the bolt thrower dwarf boys have got armor, so... They're not totally easy to get through, like most artilleries. And my skaven are, of course, struggling. Going to start to be able to fire on them with the catapult soon. Let's get the old doom wheel out wide. Okay, we do approach. Try and distract Ooh, missiles, watch out for those. Here comes the play claw stuff. Let's just move up on them, screw this. We could just badger them with the catapult, but we'll get stuck in. Getting a little bit hammered is my doom wheel. Let's try and get some clan rats up to stop that. Stop these boys firing, please. Okay, gonna use the spears to break some of the charges. And then the clan, uh, the plague monk sensor bearers to do the damage. Let's get these around the back. Okay. Let's move up, lads. Doom wheel still taking a bit of a hammer in. Need to get some help to that. Uh, still got their artillery as well, though. That's the trouble. Oh, rat ogres, of course. Forgot about them. Just hanging out out wide. I maybe took them out a bit too wide. Should have brought them in sooner. Hopefully my doom wheel survives. I don't want to have to recruit another one. The plague monks are getting absolutely destroyed by the slayers, apparently. Although they are destroying the slayers in the process. That was what I was worried about. Oh, we're going to lose so many dudes. We're going to lose so many ratty dudes. I'm confident we'll win though. We should be fine. We're stopping these missiles pretty well. We're getting a little bit overrun in the center in places. There's still a big clump of them to the left there. Come on, Rat Ogres, get into these boys. Queek's in there doing what he can. Maybe he needs to pull back and get after the Lord. And of course, those of you who struggle with campaigns and who are new to campaigns, if you're going to fight dwarfs, you need to get some armor piercing. If you don't have any armor piercing units, like if it's early game and you're a faction that doesn't have any armor piercing units, then just try not to be at war with the dwarfs. It's really a terrible idea. It's really difficult to try and get through them without armor piercing. That's why for the green skins or someone, it can be especially difficult. You need to try and get nasty skulkers as soon as possible. Or any 
armor piercing counterpart for other factions. And I could really do with a bit more right now myself. All I've got is the sensor bearers and the rat ogres, really. Most of my units aren't armor piercing. Just gonna have to grind through things. The clan rats. Let's try and get, get some nice damage on their lord with the plague monks, but maybe that's not the best use of plague monks. There we go. Let's get you quick to interrupt some missiles. We're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. The favor bar is very much in my favor, so it should be. Although I think it looks worse than worse than that. Trying to get some hammer and anvil with the rat ogres. That is the best hammer and anvil option we have, but it's a good one. We have to wonder if the DLC will provide us any new options for hammer and anvil or flanking units for the Skaven. We've got Doom Wheels, of course, but even they have their limits. Just got to route this stuff off. Let's try and get quick to kill the Lord. Oh, he's routing. He's wavering. There we go. Oh, he's white flagged. That was very sudden. I wasn't expecting him to go that quickly, to be honest, but there we go. White flags all over, just the slayers to get rid of. Oh, no. It's not slayers, it's just slayer to get rid of. One final slayer stands. Can he? Oh, God. Rat ogres. Oh, 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 his head got. Oh, 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 a rat ogre went down in the process. Either he's got really good aim with his axe, that slayer, or he just got hit by poison wind bombs, but either way, the dwarves are defeated, let's end this one. That was easy enough. We did take... A, no, we don't suppose we need to take too much damage, only the sensor bearers really took the brunt of the damage. The rat ogres are still in good nick, so that's something. They're of course one of my armor piercing units that I valuably need against the dwarflets. Okay. Let's raise this place up. There's a nice bit of money if we sack it, but don't really need it. And also, like I said, that other army is undoubtedly going to come down and try to get us. There they are. You can see them now. Well, it's not quite a full stack, but it is pretty big. That place has a garrison as well, so it's going to be tough to get through that place. But fall back from here for now. We need to replenish our plague monks. And prepare for round two. Got a lot of money and a lot of places to upgrade over here, so let's do some of that stuff. More defenses. Uh, I've actually built defense buildings in most of my settlements now, which I think is hopefully really going to help me out when we have to do the rituals and all the chaos come along. That's my plan anyway. I think that'll make a big difference. Because I don't really need some of these building slots. Like I could get maybe a bit more money, but I'm doing alright for money, so I don't really need them for the income slots right now. I think defense is more important. And I do wonder as well, how much interest do people have in like this sort of stuff? Upgrading lords with skill points and all the different routes that you can take. Do people really get into that greatly? Personally, I'm not really that fussed. Like, I just want to make my lord stronger, progress him. I like seeing that, but some people seem to be really, really into the progression and they really want to know about all the different skill trees and what they do and what they do for the army. How into that stuff are you as a player? I am curious. Well, am I the only one that's not too fussed about it? Or do most people really care about it and I'm the odd one out? I do wonder. Let's see what transpires here. I am at war with Nagaron still. Haven't seen them yet. Hoping not to see them. They are quite far away. Well, Nagaron is far away and I haven't seen any Dark Elves. I don't think they pushed down this far. I know there's lizard men to my north. Obviously, high elves bleeding everywhere. Vampire coast we've got to worry about now. Although we're friendly with them, so it's all good. I not go against counsel. Okay. So we've got this army. We needs to try and protect the quick one a little bit. We need to get this one replenishing. We should encamp. Maybe we should fall back a bit, though. If we come back to here... There we go, we'll get a nice bit of replenishment just from being home. So we'll do that. And this army can just stay back out of the way for now. Maybe we'll ambush so they can't see us. Although, I really don't want to get caught by them actually, so let's fall back. It's probably not worth the risk that that dwarf army comes down and is able to reach me and wipes out my little catapult army. And now we're taking attrition though. Um, I guess we'll just fall back into these non-attrition lands. Goddamn deserts. 
ambush. Okay, we should be fine all the way over here. I don't think they've got that kind of movement range. Do you take me for a Mostly dwarf warfare? warriors and a whole bunch of rangers. So it's not a crazy tough army. Although, whoa, the garrison is. Iron breakers, slayers, all the horrible things that Skaven don't like. We don't have the leadership to get through iron breakers very easily. Or slayers for that matter. Let's see what transpires. I'm not really sure what to expect from them actually. I, I reckon they'll just stay in their little one remaining settlement and defend. That's probably their best option because they got a decent garrison there. And a whole lot of units. Though if we attack them we can just wear them down with attrition and force them to come out and fight us which will make life a lot easier than trying to besiege them. So we'll see. They could come down and try to chase down one of my armies perhaps but I doubt they do that. Here we go. What are they going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Just going to chill in their little settlement as we expected. That's fine. That gives us time to replenish and come back on them. Here we go. One more turn. My army only does have 17 units now, though. I could take the time. I don't. I don't want to take as take too long to recruit a lot of this stuff. Help. It's going to be like six turns, as much as I would like one. Maybe another Doom Wheel. Not sure I want to wait as many turns as all these are going to take, really. Got to try and keep the pressure on these dwarfs before they rebuild, recruit units, build another army, etc. But I would rather have a full army going, that's the downside. Can't really recruit anything over here, just Skaven slaves. Who can certainly have their uses? For tying up infantry briefly, but maybe we should just get two more sensor bearers and then that'll take four turns. It's not too bad, I suppose. We can keep an eye on them. If we need to rush and move up on them, then we can. So we're not too far away. We'll use this army to keep an eye on them. Can't see them now, so that's never good. Let's just upgrade all this stuff and we shall be laughing. A couple of these buildings I need to make still. Not even sure where, to be honest. I'm not sure how I've missed them. I haven't made them already. <laughs> so have a look. See? Probably over here somewhere. Uh, so what did I need? Temple of the Horned Rat was one of them. Laboratory. There we go. Temple of the Horned Rat. So I need to make one of those so I can unlock that skill tree. So we'll start working towards that. Because we're going to run out of things to research soon. But there's another thing that... I not really. I didn't really think about too much research. I just research whatever and don't really think about it. Is that something that other people get into? Do you like to plan your research route very specifically, or do you just mash any old thing like I do? Do let me know. But maybe that's something I should get into a bit more that would make my campaigns a bit more interesting. Another thing to let me know. Would you find it more fun, more exciting if I got into that? I feel like maybe I'd get more into it if I properly tried to think about it a bit more and took the time with it but usually I don't think I don't feel I need to think about it I think that's what it is I can win the campaign just fine not really thinking about any of it which is kind of a bummer that the campaign you know you can get away with that as long as you can win your battles you win the campaign and the research and the skill points and stuff it can certainly aid those things and aid that end of trying to win battles of course but it's not a necessity so it's almost Unnecessary, especially with people a lot of people play by like, spamming armies and stuff Which is obviously something I don't really do in my campaigns, but I know it's a more effective way to play campaigns, but Not if you want to make fun exciting battles, which is what I'm trying to do with my campaigns. I want to have nice close battles I don't want to auto resolve everything by an overwhelming numbers advantage of having 20 stacks of spearmen So yeah, how do you all enjoy your campaigns? Do let me know. I am curious to how people did they move? I don't think they moved. Did they? I think they stayed put. Yeah, I'm curious to how other people enjoy the game. I feel like my dwarfs, the dwarfs, not my dwarfs, are on the move. Oh shit! They retook the place that I raised. Oh, but their army is pretty beaten up because they used all their troops replenishing it. Oh, this could be an opportunity. Oh, if I could reach them. They don't have a garrison, so it's only the army there. This could be it. I should be able to reach with Queek. Never mind these plague monks. 
Can we reach? Can we reach? If we can get in range, we can still reinforce. It doesn't say we can't reinforce. I was just checking then. I'm pretty sure we can reinforce even if we use the underway. Let's find out. This one should be able to reach. Oh, come on. If we can get this, we've got this army dead to rights. Come on. Attack. Attack, you son of a bitch. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this has worked out a treat. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Not that I planned this, but it's happened and it's a plan now. Shut up. Oh, God, this just made life so much easier. So all these dwarf units are at half health. There's a lot of slayers, though. A, sh a hit ton of slayers. But I'm going to take them.